Good afternoon, and we are back again for live Facebook number four for the day. Number four. I've done three, like, makey things, makey things, mini classes, um, but this is the... Uh, this is the last makey makey one for the day, which is good. And this is the one I've been looking forward to. So welcome everyone. I'm um, just going to turn my comments on, see who's hanging around. Amanda and Bronwyn. Hey, Louise, can you make some more noise over there, love? Oh, That'd be great. <laughs> just get all your unwrapping done now. Louise is just restocking over on the shelf the alcohol ink. So, um, okay. So today we are, this afternoon's little live Facebook is going to be making an art journal page. So today's online special for the great international craft show is the Daily Deals 15% off stamps and stencils. Sharon, you're back again. Are you stalking me? Oh, well, welcome back, sweetheart. I love you stalking me. Um, okay, so we are going to be using st <laughs> stamps and stencils, um, and they're 15% off online. So just before I go on, I'm just going to mention again about the no judgment postage. So what that no judgment postage means is that you can, what, you can add to your orders over the weekend for only one cent. So for your very first order that you do, we ask that you pay $12.50 for your first order. Any orders after that are going to be only one cent. So that works out fantastic for you. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to do an art journal page here and it's in my Large Dilutions art journal. I This is the uh, eight and a half by 11 journal. So it's my big size journal. I've been doing a few little bits and pieces in this journal and um, this is the Stencil Girl page that went up on my blog yesterday and up on Stencil Girl the day before. So there's some step-by-step -step instructions on how to recreate this page if you would like to have a look. These stencils um, that I have used today um, and I will be using and this stencil here are 15% off. So uh, that is something that we've done in a previous class. That is a little sneaky peek of an online class that you can jump on and purchase. Uh, this page here is an art journal page that I did in a previous live Facebook. You'll find that on YouTube if you look me up. Uh, and I think that one as well is one I've done on a previous art journal page. And that is the current class that is available to purchase online for next weekend. That is an online class. It's just $26 and you will get a full kit included in that one. So... What we are going to be doing today is a single art journal page. And I've got a little bit of an idea but uh, on what I want to do. I've got some paints out, the colour of the rainbow. Uh, I've pre-stamped some images here and I've got some stencils. And that's about the extent of what I'm thinking about doing. What I want to start with is I have got a single page here which I've done a very, very light coat of gesso on it. And the gesso is just sealing the page. Um, sorry, I'm just going to pop a book under it just to bring it up to an easier height because uh, it's a new journal. I want it to sit flat here. So I've just got my book that I use for journaling. Sorry, I've just realised how crooked my camera is and that I keep whacking the table. There we go. Uh, so yes, I'm going to, I've just brought it up to a height that's a bit more manageable for me. Uh, I'm gonna start adding some tissue paper. So this is the Dina Wakeley collage paper. This one is the Just Words paper. So I'm just gonna tear it up into a few little pieces and use some gel medium to stick it down to my page. So the gel medium that I'm using is the Chromacryl, Chromacryl uh, anti, uh, <laughs> anti-pasto. 
Just like... You can eat it. You can eat it. Don't eat it. Um, I'm thinking about the wine and the cheese and the antipasto platter. Um, okay, so the impasto gel medium. So this is my choice of gel medium. This is my favourite one. So to put it down, I'm just going to pop a bit down on my page like that. Um, I don't like straight edges. Let me turn that light up a little. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't like straight edges, so I'm just going to tear some off. And I'm going to then go back over the top. I'm not adding any more. I'm just using my brush to press it all the way down. So this is the Just Words collage paper by Dina Wakely. Uh, what I will do after the class is I will take a photo of the journal page and I will link all the products that I have used in the comments like I have done previously. So that way, if you decide that you have to have something, because I know you do, then I will, uh, you can easily find it online on, uh, in the comments to the picture. All right, so I'm gonna pop that down there. So when I'm doing a, an art journal page and I'm collaging like this, couple of things that I'm making sure that I'm doing is making sure that my letters are straight. I can't do this whole crosshatch, higgledy-piggledy sort of thing. It just messes with my head too much. Uh, and I find that, that it gets too busy and too much to look at. So that is what I'm going to do there. So the gel medium works as an excellent adhesive um, and it works wonderfully for sticking down these items and that's almost dry that'll give you an idea on how thick it goes on not very thick at all hello jenny hello ronnie how are you darling um all right so my thoughts here are i'm just going to quickly take the tackiness out of that gel medium with a little bit of heat And now uh, I want to have a couple of things handy. I've got a baby wipe handy and I have a very, very basic design stencil. So not basic design at all. It's one of the Natalie May scrapbooking designs. So this is my all the dots stencil. So I'm going to be using that next. And I want to get a bit of a rainbow going on here. I want to start with, um, I'm just going to pop a bit of yellow in the middle. And I'm not going to use too much. So I'm using a combination of Dina Wakely paints and Dilusions paints. And I'm just going to use vertical strokes up and down to be doing what I call dry brushing. I use this technique all the time. Dry brushing is excellent for art journal pages because it is quick and easy. So that first colour was Lemon by Dina Wakely. This one is Tangerine. And with this one, so when I am painting this one on, I'm just gently overlapping onto that yellow. Okay, just like that. Now this bit of paper on the side is just protecting my surface, but I'm also being a bit lazy and just wiping any excess paint off onto that paper. Okay. Uh, next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna pop a bit of red on there whoa or a lot of red as the case may be and whoa okay way too much red so i take that off on my brush and do that now while that is still wet i'm going to take my stencil and i'm going to use my baby wipe and just wipe over the top this is not at all a, a new technique this is not new it's something that has been working but art journalists have been doing it for ages and it works especially well if you have gesso and gel medium underneath, okay? So that is what I am doing. And it also just makes takes that um, intensity of the red off the page. All right, so I was going to pop a bit of pink in there, but I've really left the wrong... Really need to pop a tiny amount of pink on that. No, I won't. Let's leave the pink off it. 
Okay, uh, I really need green here next, and I am going to use the lime paint from Dina Wakeley, but I need to clean my brush first because if I mix those colours together while they are wet and have red on my brush, I'm going to end up with a lovely shade of gross, of brown. So I'm going to make sure I get all the water out of my brush so that that dry brush technique continues across my page and get a bit of green down. Not much. Straight up and down. So it's, it's quite a nice thin stroke and as I'm brushing it, I'm almost drying it a little bit. Uh, the next colour I've got here is Sky by Dina Wakeley. And that is that really lovely sky blue. And overlapping into the green. So nice and bright for a nice bright page for wherever you are watching in the world. Oops, okay, and that one just fell out. So this colour is London Blue from dilutions and as you can see straight up it's a different consistency so what I need to do here is be super aware of spreading it out on my page that'll work and I might get that stencil in now and grab another baby wipe and wipe a little off okay yeah okay what color can I put next uh, I might f finish with, uh, what is this called? Periwinkle Blue. Oh, sh rats. Did you like that? I didn't swear, Louise. Oh, I just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's a lot of Periwinkle Blue. Um, and a bit of bonus stuff on my other page there. So I'm just wiping that off with a baby wipe. Um, okay, and that colour is quite bold. So while that's... I think that's a bit too much. Spreading it out with my brush and again, getting that baby wipe and toning it back a little bit, especially if I've got any overlapping areas, okay? I need one more deeper color here and I'm thinking I need like a navy. Navy? Purple? I don't want <clears throat> purple. How do I feel about purple? Not great. So let's go with fuchsia instead. Here we go. All right, so fuchsia. Ooh. And because I've still got a little bit of blue on my brush, I can blend it nicely into there. Get my stencil out. And instant rainbow page. And that took me less than eight minutes to do. Like, seriously, brilliant. Okay, so nothing more than straight up and down strokes. I can still see my tissue paper on here and up here. Um, my thoughts on this page at the moment are, I like it but I've got a little, this bit here is a bit too strong, okay? Oh, hello, Michelle Widows. How are you, my love? Uh, paper towel. Okay, so just while I'm rinsing my brush and getting some more paper towel, the page is drying. Um, and I'm wanting to make sure that, again, I've got all of the water out of my brush. So my thing, as I was saying, my thoughts here are, this is still quite strong. This line across here and across here does not float my boat at all. I don't love it. So I want to add a little bit of white. I was about to say, and that's going to come out really quick because I just shook it. So I'm just putting it on my brush and I'm just going to push it down from the top 
down that way. So I'm just taking the intensity of uh, the black out of those words and top and bottom. You could use gesso if you don't have any white paint handy. Um, so this will work quite well if you do both. But that works for me. A little bit of white balance is good because it's an art journal page and it needs a little balance. All right, what am I gonna do next? So next I might add a little, I've got this gorgeous, um, this is the Stencil Girl Scribble Scratch Stencil. Um, I reckon I might add, I might add that in a minute. Might add a little stamping first, okay? So stamping, I've got words as, as my theme and circles as my themes. So I've started that theme rolling with this page, okay? I've got here my Natalie May scrapbooking stamp. This is a stamp that I have designed and this one is out of the set called... Louise, is this the Don't Overthink one? Could you just have a look on the shelf? Because I'm having a massive blonde moment. Yep. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at me winning. So I'm just going to use a little uh, black archival ink. So black archival ink is going to sit beautifully over the top of acrylic paint. Oh, look at that. And I want to, I'm not putting it on a block because I don't want solid straight edges. I'm after a broken image. Okay. And I'm connecting my collage paper with my stamping and building my background, okay? So that is all I'm going to add with that, that, um, that gorgeous stamp that I designed. I can say that, you see. I'm going to bring it up to camera so you can have a bit of a look. and the other ones down the bottom there, okay? So you can see that detail all happening now. So as I'm building my backgrounds, I'm going to use my blah, blah, blah stencil, uh, stamp, and I'm gonna be adding that one to my page as well. I've got a bit of an idea that I want my focal point to sit in around this area here, so, and I'm gonna be adding some more stenciling on as well. So I'm just going to get some words started and I'm not going to do it on a crisscross angle because the words sit horizontally. So I need to continue that. And again, it doesn't need to be a full sentence. It needs to be just sitting in the background. And I'm not concerned about it being super black either uh, simply because nothing else about this page is absolutely perfect you could put it on a stamp block if you want to but I don't mind that over stamping all right except for that would have been great if it was straight but you know what that's fine okay what else are we doing do I need that one no don't need that one Okay, so my next step is going to be, I want to add some stenciling over the top as well. We got a new shipment this week of uh, Stencil Girl stencils. And this one is called Wall of Words. Uh, so they're 15% off. I've got lots and lots of word stencils in at the moment. So the reason being, um, I love word stencils. They are so versatile, so easy to use and will look fantastic on almost all projects. Uh, and they sell out really, really quickly. So they are 15% off less, sorry, $23 less 15% off. I don't do math, so that's okay. So what I want to do is I might just, 
I might actually I might just take it like that way across my page so lining it up I've got some heavy gesso you could use modeling paste you could use just about anything but I'm just wanting to do that So my stamping is disappearing into the background. The, the um, paint is still there. It is all joining up and connecting. So when I pull this off, oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So what I want to do is I just want to connect it. See how it's connected to the side of my page? It's running off this side and it's running off this side. I also just want to connect it a little bit to the top. So I'm just using my um, catalyst tool to do a little smudging to connect it top and bottom. All right, just like so. So we're on the right track here and I've added some more white, which is what's giving it that bit of dimension. Now that will take just a second to dry off because it is a thick, thicker modeling paste. So you could use a heavy gesso. I used the 13 Arts gesso, which has got a real jelly-like consistency, but it's really lovely and white. I, you could use modeling paste or texture paste, something that's gonna go through a stencil and leave just a little bit of body, okay? That will uh, work perfectly. Drink break. Oh, and I can't get the lid off my drink bottle. Oh, got it. So while I've got your captive attention, uh, if you head over to nataliemay.com.au, Today, you will find 15% off stamps and stencils. So Dina Wakeley stamps, Dilution stamps, Tim Holtz, Waffle Flower, Alter New, uh, Carabelle, All and Create. There's a huge range of stamps available, all at 15% off for today only. Okay, that rocks. Um, and it's hot. So now I've, I've created my background, um, I now need to add a focal point. So a focal point is important because it's what this page is, is going to be about. Um, I've got this stamp set here by Dina Wakeley. Uh, I really love this. This is called Collage, Collage Girls. Uh, I like that one. And I've also got Better Together. I do like that one as well. Mm, but I'm going to go with this one. I've pre-stamped a couple of images um, and I use my stamp press to, pre, uh, to, to stamp these. And using my stamp press enabled me to get a super duper sharp black image, which is what I wanted. I wanted a really, really solid image. So both of the images on here that I have stamped have a, a super dark, as you can see. They're nice, solid black. And that is because I used a stamp press, which is my new best friend. So, what else have we got? I also did it on collage paper because I couldn't work out exactly what I wanted to use. So, uh, tissue paper or deli paper will, will look fantastic as well. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use... I'm thinking I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to leave it like that. So that is the um, Collaged Girls stamp set. And I'm going to pop her here. Uh, she needs to be encased in something because she's kind of floating with no legs at the moment. Not ideal. What can she be floating in? What can I do? I can draw a circle. Let's draw a circle. Um... So I've got my black Stabilo pencil. So everybody knows that I love my Stabilo pencil, use it all of the time. I'm just trying to find my pencil sharpener that I've put in a, here it is, safe place. Sorry. 
That'll do. Rightio, so a nice sharp Stabilo pencil. Have that handy. So a Stabilo pencil, like I was saying, is a solid black pencil. It is Dina Wakeley's choice of black pencil. I'll show you what it does. It stays black when you water activate it. So I can do a nice black line here, nice big black doodle. And when I water activate that with a paintbrush, I can, it'll, it'll go nice and, and stay really lovely and black. And it's permanent. It will write on glass. It'll write on paper. It'll write on plastic. It'll write on metal. It'll write on everything. So if I want to draw something like that and then want to activate it, you need to activate it straight away. You can't go off, make yourself a cup of coffee, come back in 20 minutes because it sets. Okay. So this is what Dina Wakefully uses. This is her go-to tool. She introduced it to me a few years ago. Love it. Also comes in red, green, white, navy blue. And a couple of other colours as well. So that's what this below is. Anyway, what I want to do is I need to create a focal point. I need to create something for this chicky here to sit in. And I want to pop it. Here. So I'm just going to draw a circle. Couple of laps, holding my hand high. It's more of an oval now, but you know, you get the picture. Um, I've got a thinner paintbrush and a... Let me get some of that out of the way. A thinner paintbrush and a piece of paper towel handy. The reason I've got paper towel is I don't want my paintbrush dripping wet. And now I want to activate that circle and make it deeper. I haven't got a dripping wet brush and I'm not following the lines perfectly because I want some of the scribbles to still show, okay? Now I could do this with a black pen. Uh, I would not have got that same smudgy effect. I wouldn't be able to get the same smudgy effect if I had used a Posca or a paint pen because I want that watered out sort of look, okay? So I'm going to add some black splatters as well in a moment and some scribbly writing. So I just wanted to take the wetness out of that first. So scribbly writing, so she's going to go here. Scribbly writing, I can do a couple of things. I do have a Dina Wakeley stamp, which I could just scribble with, or I could grab, grab my black food ball pen. Now, mine have all been stored up the wrong way, so they're not working properly at the moment. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck. Let's find something else. Let's find another black pen in my... There we go. So she's going to sit here. Now I want to do some big loopy acemic writing, I think Dina calls it, which isn't exactly saying anything at all, but it says everything about the page. That makes no sense, but I can, I can hear Louise smirking in the background over there going, what the hell is she waffling on about? Okay, but it works. I'm going to pop some up the top here. I'm a hoarder of black pens. I love me a black pen. I can't... Uh, that and notebooks, as Louise is now finding out. <laughs> She's giggling in the background there. Um, but yes, a little bit of scribble, and then I can pop my girl on. Actually, that might not be so bad in tissue paper. She might be a bit more transparent if I was to tear around that. But nobody's got time for that today. All right, so I want to now add some gel medium to stick her on. So back to my impasto gel medium. Come here. Now I have what <laughs> that big pen that I used just then is a is it 
I don't even know what pen that brand was. It is out of a cheap shop. Like I said, Leslie, I am a hoarder of black pens. I know that doesn't help you, but norm the only reason I used picked up that one and not my food ball, which is my normal go-to pen or the Stabilo pen, um, sorry, not the Stabilo pen, the Pilot drawing pen. The reason I didn't pick that up is because I stored them the wrong way up and I don't have the patience at the moment to get all the ink down the bottom. But I would normally use those two pens. You could use a, a Sharpie. Everyone has their favorite pens to use. Um, so I've just gone edge to edge with my gel medium. So I'm just making sure by using, putting a piece of paper towel over the top, making sure it's stuck down nice and good which it's not. And that is on there. Lid back on. Make sure you pop your paintbrush in your gel medium straight away because gel medium is an excellent adhesive, which means that it will clog up your uh, paintbrush straight away and make a heck of a mess when it dries. Um, I'm just gonna smudge a little color over this because it kind of sits out just a fraction. Um, I'm just, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use a little, no, I'll regret doing that, won't I? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, she needs something along here. So this is where my, my title has to be about my page because her legs are still cut off at the knees, okay? Not ideal. What can I use? I can stamp an image or I have got here, these are some of the words that, some of the phrases that are in the Dina Wakeley collage book. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to collage a few different ones. Uh, no thinking, only doing, yes. Choose where your energy goes. Hell yes. And do your own thing. Absa freaking lootly. All right. So I want those three things phrases and where am I going to put them and how do I make them work on my page I need to put them here here I don't know here so I might put it down with a bit of white paint first it needs a bit of it needs a base for it to sit on so instead of white paint I might actually use a little gesso All right, Louise, is there anything that I have forgotten to tell these lovely ladies that are watching? Where's my palette knife? Here, that one will do. So tomorrow's special will become live as soon as I get out of bed. I haven't set a time for it. You will just have to stalk the website and see what it is. But trust me, you will not want to miss tomorrow's special daily deal. Um, it is going to be worth your while. It's definitely going to be something that you want to see. Um, bit of gesso, swipe it on there with my dirty palette knife. And then I'm going to stick that one there. Oh, shrats. <laughs> Are you getting me a glass of wine, Louise? Mm -hmm. I can. That would be splendid. Is it wine o'clock somewhere? What time is it? Five o'clock. Oh, hell yes. Stick that down. Yes, Diane, they are the Dina Wakeley Collage Girls stamp. Okay, so there we go. Done, done, done. 
You know what? That would have been great if I'd actually remembered to put some glue down first. Why did nobody say to me, Natalie, you're just sticking it to gesso. I mean, hey, it is going to work, but it's not great. Um, okay, so tomorrow's special. Uh, what happens if you've already bought something today? Number one, thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. But, oh, shit, that's overlapping. Hang on. Um, so what it means is that we will collate the orders together. You can do another order and select no judgment at the checkout. So you will be able to then put all your orders together. There's going to be another special on Saturday as well as Sunday. So the whole idea is to treat you guys every single day. Um, over the weekend as well, I will be doing more live Facebooks. You're going to see more from me. You're going to be seeing a lot more from me, guys. You're going to be as sick of me as my husband is sick of me. Um, just getting a little bit of gesso on my finger. And I'm just going to wash those edges. Um, so yeah, four live Facebooks a day. Every morning, I'm going to jump on and talk to you about the special of the day, show you what's new, show you the awesome things that have been happening. Um, then 10.30 every morning, Adelaide time, you will see another live Facebook start. Okay, so... I plan to look after you over the weekend. Who said what then? What was that lovely comment? What was that tissue paper that I used? So the tissue paper that I just used, Lana, is the Just Words Dina Wakeley collage paper. You'll find it under Dina Wakeley's category on the website. Um, I want to... I want to go over the top of that. I need a dot stamp dots would be great oh 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 i know i know i know what i'm gonna do calm down people i've sorted it out um a little bit of black um the the where's my blending tool blending tool blending tool can't find it use my finger um the whole idea of this weekend is just to introduce you to some new things um and show you how to use some of the stuff you've already got as well as give you guys some bargains oh that's better um the sorry concentrating can't talk i'm just putting the black up to bloody hell up to those words just to cover up uh, and spread out some of the edges and it has totally backfired and I should have left it alone. Um, what I will do after in a moment is I will link you to the products, okay? So if you're thinking, oh, I don't know what she's used there, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, I want to know what, what paper that is, then I will link you up in a minute, okay? Um, so give me 10 minutes after I finish to photograph and I will pop it all up online. Um, so, yeah, the idea of this weekend is to show you some new things, some tips, tricks, ideas, give you some absolute bargain specials uh, and remind you that crafting is fun and that even the grown-ups like myself make mistakes and stuff things up because, you know, we're human too. Adding a little bit of black down around this edge. Yeah, that's better. And I need to balance it out with a bit at the top, okay? So just using my finger... And a baby wipe to spread it around. Baby wipes are just the best. So the techniques that I'm doing here will always work on cards and layouts as well. So don't think, oh, what I've done does not suit you. That's okay. Turn it into your sport. Turn it into your craft. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm just going to finish up there. I'm going to take a photo of this for you in a moment to give you a bit of an idea, I'll give you a close-up of what it looks like. Um, I'll bring it up to the top of the camera so you can see that it's all about the layers. Um, so all of these items are available on nataliemay.com.au and today's special is...
stamps and stencils at 15% off. So Dina Wakeley stamps, Stencil Girl stencils. Uh, using things from your stash, you can easily recreate this page. It's just a case of having a look at what you've got at home and adapting it to suit. Uh, so thank you very much to everyone for tuning in. I will take a photo of this in a moment, just dry it off, take a photo, and then uh, I will link all the products that we have used in the comments so that you can find them easily enough on the website. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all in the morning at... Oh, here's Louise with my glass of wine. Thank you very much. Ching, ching. Cheers, girls. Happy Thursday. Um, so... Yeah, link all those products up. Today's special will be online until I go to bed. So that might be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Let's be honest, probably closer to 11 o'clock. Um, but yes, you will have a bit of a, um, you have plenty of time to do a bit more shopping. All right, guys, chat soon. Um, happy Thursday. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments and tag me so that I see them. And I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Bye.